What's going on guys? Welcome to your 28th Java tutorial. Again with me, Travis, and my bring back. What we're going to learn about in today's tutorial is the keyword called this. Let's just jump right into it. For this tutorial, we're going to need two classes. One that the compiler looks for that has our main method. And also another class I called Travis. You can call it whatever you want. Um, literally, if you want. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our starting point class and we're just going to create a new Travis object. This should be pretty familiar by now. We're going to call this T and we're going to say uh, new Travis. And we're going to pass in a number like 24 for my age, something like that. Right, we're getting an error right now because, again, we need a constructor that takes an integer as a parameter. So we're going to jump over to our Travis class, create that real quickly. We're first going to just hit control space, hit enter, and there is our default constructor. Pretty simple, right? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an int variable called age. Nothing new here again. And there we go. Now we have access to that 24 from our previous class, which we relabeled age. So again, age is equal to 24. You can keep, keep that in mind. Now what we're going to do within our Travis class, we're going to set up a variable called int age not set it equal to anything and now we're like okay we have two ages we have this age and we also have this age right here that we're getting passed in so for example if we want to set up this age right here to be equal to whatever our constructor passed in for us what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, this dot age is equal to age now that might seem kinda of confusing but all it's doing is it's referring to this uh, the, the age of our class as you can see here they're both kinda of blue and then this age is not blue, so therefore it's this one that's getting passed in. So there's our like first little doodad of this tutorial for this tutorial. And uh, basically all we're saying is we said, uh, you know, we spent so much time with this Travis class. We we're setting up everything. Yeah, we might need some external resources like from our constructor or other parameters, some other information that we get passed in. But, you know, we've spent so much time creating this Travis class anytime we use or we want to refer to our variables that we established for our Travis class, we just are going to say this age equal to that. Um, obviously, we could just create this int to be a, and then we could just say a is equal to age as well. Pretty much the same thing, but you know, sometimes you get confused. Uh, so we want our variables to be consistent. And also the same, we could have you know our variable that gets passed in label as a and then we could also just you know delete this as well but uh, you know again if you have a constructor or something that has a ton of parameters like a b c and d and you're like okay I forgot what those were supposed to be and then you're just like oh I'm just gonna label them what I think they are age height weight whatever else you want to have and then we can set up our also our variables for our class and we can just refer to those same uh, names and we can just say this age or this height this weight and those will refer to our class variables and we're gonna set them equal to be whatever our local variables are or whatever is being passed in from our constructor so that's all fine and dandy right but there's another way we can use the this keyword uh, there's a few other ways but we're just gonna talk about one other way and what we're going to do is we're going to say this and we're just going to say age and we're also going to give it a string so like Travis now when we use this with like parentheses basically what it's doing is it's calling the constructor of this class again the Travis class and it's giving it these parameters so now what we need to do is we need to create another constructor so I'm just going to hit control space bam and uh, we're going to also say int age and string name and there we go so again what's happening is our starting point is creating a new Travis object passing in the number 24 so it's gonna look for a constructor that has just one parameter with an int value and so obviously it's gonna call this parameter or I'm sorry this constructor and then the only thing that this constructor is gonna do is it's gonna create a uh, or call a new constructor here that takes two parameters so it's going to look for this age and this name and then all we're going to do is just a system dot out dot print and we're just going to say uh, name plus quotation space plus 
age and there we go um, so those are kind of the variables that we can do also I mean we could just say just for the other version of this we're gonna say this age is equal to age that's being passed in again here which we you know it's basically being forwarded from this one to this one to being passed in here to being passed in here and that's where we're going to set up our this variable again up here and then we can also just say age or this dot age so hopefully that makes some sense guys uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial and uh, there we go we have Travis in 24 hopefully that made some sense hopefully you guys when you uh, see the this um, you won't get as confused there's a few other ways that we can use the this um, we'll get into that when we actually start developing a game or something along those lines but I wanted you to be kind of familiar with what it does um, so thanks again for watching guys have a good Thanksgiving I should say here in uh, the United States and I'll catch you later have a good one